So Airbnb and VRBO become a significant factor in Lexington's lodging inventory. Is this a good thing or bad thing, or what are your thoughts on that? I, you know, I admit I've stayed in them in other cities, and it's been a good experience. I also like to stay in hotels. Um, I think it uh, adds to the diversity of the, um, the stock for visitors. I was part of the effort to get them on board to pay their fair share in taxes. Many of you know they weren't. And so we worked really hard with our revenue folks and our uh, Department of Finance inside government to make that happen because it puts them more on a par with hotels. And that's what we needed to do. So um, I think it gives a good variety for people who want to choose that. Well, I think we all know that the revenue it generates is good, beneficial, we can all appreciate that. Um, it helps to contribute uh, in some part to our affordable housing situation, which can be counteracted with simple policies of allowing more homes to be built, um, allowing more land for that, that kind of a process. I think it fills a niche. I think that we need to watch it and make sure that it's, it's filling a niche and not consuming an area, consuming any one area. I think everything can work harmoniously, but again, we have concerns about affordable housing in the city. Um, I do think the revenue streams are good, and I think that we can work in partnership with anybody who wants to have a business here, specifically and especially people like Airbnb. Airbnb, yes. Thank you.